Hey guys, and welcome back to Alaska Love 12. Today I'm going to be taking another mommy moment and sharing something that I think is really fun with all of you out there who have kids, work with kids, anything involving children, this video is sort of for you. And it is our Alaskan Children's Book Collection. So Justin and I have collected these books for the kids over the years, as well as we've had um, some of them have been received as gifts to our family. And I thought it would just be really fun to share them with all of you. I know Alaska has become a pretty popular place for families to travel, and it's something that I think a lot of people look at with a little bit of wanderlust. And even kids, I know when I was the age of my kids are at now, I wanted to come to Alaska because I just thought it was this great place full of big mountains and animals and adventure. And while it totally is, there are some other amazing things within the state, but we'll talk about that in a different video. Um, so these books are really fun because they are everything from kind of a little bit of non-fiction information style books for kids all the way out to, you know, just your traditional like fun fiction uh, story stories, fairy tales kind of, um, even a little bit. So I just wanted to share them with all of you because we love these books. They're honestly some of the kids most reached for stories when they pick a book to have read to them. And now that all of the kids are kind of learning their reading readiness skills and things like that, these are books that they're also reading that they're asking to have me or Justin help them read. And so I just went through our entire book collection, pulled out all the ones that I could find. I have a sneaky feeling that some of our books, uh, because they're among the kids' favorites, ended up in our travel trailer, which Justin just left with for work uh, last week. So unfortunately, I think a few of our books, our Alaska themed books are in there. Um, but anyway, I still have a really, really decent sized collection to share with all of you. So if you're looking for an Alaskan themed story or a book to give to a kid in your life or just something fun to read or maybe keep an eye out for it at your own public library or ask your public library if they can get in for you or anything like that, um, these books are great. And especially for those of us with kids in elementary school with the importance of, you know, reading over the summertime, these are really fun books that kind of take your traditional fairy tales, some of them take your traditional fairy tales and make them into something Alaskan and wonderful. So I could ramble about that all day long, but let's just check out the books before I just go off on another tangent of mine, which are so, so common here on Alaska Love 12. Okay, so these four books are kind of among the kids' like very, very favorites. And the first one is this Greetings Earthling Zippers Alaskan Adventure. And this is by Amy Morrell Kaumel. I'm sorry if I just butchered your name. Illustrated by Cindy Pendleton. Um, this won the Alaska Battle of the Books uh, for grades K through 2 in 2007. I actually just picked this book up, I would say, in 2012 or 2013. I was at a kind of like trade show, indoor farm market type thing that are pretty, they're pretty common up here in the summertime, and I picked this book up, and what's really cool is it's actually autographed for the kids. Um, so this book just kind of got my attention, like I said, this is one I picked out because I just thought the little like alien skateboarding or on his little... Um, snowboard I didn't know what it was at the time was really cool and this book the kids love this book because it is so bright and colorful and it's about this little alien named Zipper um, and this is actually his this is his space board I know that now for reading this story a hundred times um and he ends up on a little adventure through space and then ends up in Alaska sorry these picture books are huge and are great for reading, but they're hard to all fit in frame with my giant head. Um, I just want to show you a really good picture of, like this is one of the kids' favorites is where he sees this giant moose. Um, and so it's just a really fun book and the kids love it um, because it kind of like encompasses this little, this little guy Zipper and they always ask me, oh is Zipper our age? And I just tell them, yeah sure. Um, and then the other thing that's really cool about it is they've included just this two page of kind of factual information. They call it Zipper's Earthlings, I believe. Yeah, and they just go through and they talk about the Aurora Borealis or the Northern Lights, a bald eagle, a moose, a king salmon, 
a northern or collared pika, and then a grizzly bear. And those are just all things that Zipper encounters on his kind of journey to Earth or to Alaska. So this one is really, really fun. The next one that we have, the kids have probably enjoyed since they were little, little. This is one that I definitely recommend. Like if you've got probably a little kid who's a little kid. Um, if you have a child who's like two or three, this is a really fun book, even as young as one, but this is Alaska's 12 Days of Summer, and this is by Pat Chamberlain Calamar, illustrated by Shannon Cartwright. Um, this is to the tune, obviously, um, the 12 Days of Christmas, but it goes through, and you can tell ours is very well done, like all the pages are bent, but um, like the first day of summer is a black bear and a spruce tree, and then it goes all the way out to like, um, seven cranes of dancing, eight mosquitoes buzzing, 12th day of summer, there's 12 doll sheep leaping, leaping, 11 wolves a howling. So it's just a really fun book and then it even includes kind of the musical score in the back of it. So this is just a fun, easy read with a fun little nursery rhyme that's been, you know, kind of adapted into an Alaskan theme. This one, Justin actually just read to the kids again the other day, and it reminded me of how much we just love it. I actually purchased this one at the same time I purchased that book with Zipper. Um, this is, again, by Amy Morrell Howell. I'm so sorry if I butchered your name again. And it's illustrated by Cindy Pendleton. And this one's about a little boy and his sister who um, kind of pretend to be pirates and go out into catch a Mac Bay and the tide comes in and they just go on this adventure and I just think it's so sweet because it's you know centered in a storyline about siblings and the kids really really loved it and like I said Justin just read this one to them the other day and the kids were just you know when you're reading a book to your kids and it's one that they really love because they're just looking at you with like this wide-eyed like in awe you know kind of a feeling we all get as adults like when we're reading a good page turning book that we can't put down all of these books are that way for our kids again this one has a really fun glossary in the back with some extra information so if you've got some older kids who you know you don't necessarily want to be read to anymore but want to maybe read a book of their own and then it's got some extra information in the back um these books are just perfect and again it's just beautifully illustrated it's kind of like a treasured book of our collection like when we pull these books out when the kids pull these books out they turn the pages very slowly when they're looking at them on their own but anyway the last one we have that's kind of among our favorite favorites is this Sitka Rose book um this is by Shelley Gill and illustrated by Shannon Cartwright and this one reminds me of the story of Paul Bunyan, except it is the story of Sitka Rose, and she goes through and she um, just kind of goes on this adventure through Alaska, and it kind of tells a little bit about her life and all of the things that she does um, as Sitka Rose, like, while Rose played patty cake, patty cake, and pan the gold, she piled up whole mountains, even Denali, we're told like Denali, Mount McKinley. So that's why it kind of reminds me of Paul Bunyan um, and his babe, the big blue ox. Instead, she has a moose. Um, and it's just a beautiful little book. And again, there's a fun illustration in the back of Alaska, but the book itself is just so gorgeous um, and beautifully illustrated that the kids are just so engaged by all the colors. Now, these next couple of books I have, the kids really really love them but I found lately they don't pick them out as much um, it's probably because they've heard them a kajillion times especially this one this is Kiana's Iditarod um, this is again by Shelley Gill and illustrated by Shannon Cartwright and this one just goes through a sled dog team's Kiana is one of the pups um, journey through the Iditarod the sled dog race that takes place in Alaska each year and this one as you can see in the back are a whole bunch of other books and we don't have these um thunderfeet is another really really good one we i don't know where our copy of thunderfeet went but it's somehow missing um and we also at one point had the alaska abc book and i'm not quite sure where it is i kind of wonder if they ended up in the trailer they probably did but those are two other ones that are really great as well and then this one is the Vole family in winter when the northern lights come out to play and this one is written by Claudia Lively and Holly Olson 
and it's illustrated by Elizabeth Hessum. Hessum? I butcher everyone's name. Um, but it's again just bright and colorful and it tells the story of this wool family in winter and the kids really like this one but for some reason lately I don't know if it's because it's in winter and we're in like spring and summer they don't reach for the Iditarod book and the Vol family in winter book probably really because it's about winter and our winters are long enough as it is we don't need to read about them as much in the summertime. Okay, the last three books that I have here were actually sent to me by uh, Sasquatch Publishing Company a few months ago to share with all of you guys. And I wanted to read them to the kids a little bit so I could really gauge kind of if they worked for my kids' ages or if they didn't and what the kids really thought of them. And I don't know why I even felt like I had to do that because obviously the kids love them. And there are these three books right here. The first one is this Grizzly Bears of Alaska, and it's by Debbie S. Miller with photography by Patrick J. Endress. And this is one of the more nonfiction, factual style books. Um, it kind of goes through and shares a lot of information. Obviously, this isn't illustrated. It's all photography pictures and images in here, but they are still bright and wonderful. And my kids love bears and reading about bears. Um, and I can remember at their age, I thought bears were like scary but cool, like that frightening but kind of <laughs> adrenaline rushing factor. Um, so yeah, the kids really like this book. This is a book where I won't usually, it doesn't, my kids are six and five. Actually, the twins are going to be seven next week. So they're pretty much seven and almost six. Um, they don't sit and listen to this entire book that well. This is a book where we'll kind of read like a page or two an evening or um, read a page during the day or something just with a little bit of information in it and then they ask me 500 questions about it. <laughs> but it definitely sparks their interest. They just don't sit still through the whole entire book. And I will link all these book titles below and try to find um, uh, somewhere local in Alaska where you can purchase them. So even if you're out of the state, it'd just be great if you uh, supported local Alaskan businesses because most of these books are written by um, local Alaskan art authors and illustrated by individuals in Alaska. But I'll include more information about that in... Um, the description box below. I didn't want to take up too much time in this video about that, but I will definitely talk about it. Now, this next book is the kids' current favorite. I just kept it out because I wanted to mention that uh, Sasquatch did send this to me to share with all of you guys, and this is Alaska Sleeping Beauty by Mindy Dwyer, and it is kind of the Alaskan Sleeping Beauty story, and I love this book. I love reading this book to the kids. I get so excited when they ask me to read it to them. Sleeping Beauty was one of my favorite fairy tales growing up. I know everyone else was crazy about other princesses, but for some reason I just really liked Sleeping Beauty. I don't know if it's because it took place in the woods and there was a cottage. I don't know. But as you can see, this book is just beautiful. And um, it takes place instead of like a, um, a spinning wheel that Sleeping Beauty pricks her finger on, this one is a salmon cannery and she chokes on a salmon bone. And I know that sounds kind of like, what? But in the story, it's just so beautifully told. And I love it because um, it's kind of got this beautiful fairy tale elegance and beauty to it. But then it's got like the rugged, raw amazingness that is Alaska in it as well. Like the guys in this book wear car hearts instead of like, um, the traditional like prince costume and they talk about salmon and um there's a midwife and um yeah so it's just a beautiful story the princess instead of the princess's name being aurora it's alieska so i just think this is a wonderful book and a beautiful adaptation like if you don't want to read your kid sleeping beauty like the Disney version of Sleeping Beauty, this is a really beautiful adaptation because it's something that's a little bit more real, I guess. I don't know how perfectly to describe it, but just check this book out if your kids love fairy tales because it's amazing. And again, this is Alaska Sleeping Beauty by Minnie Dwyer. And then the last one I have is Alaska's Dog Heroes, True Stories of Remarkable Canines. This is by Shelley Gill and illustrated by Robin James. This again is a book that Sasquatch sent to, Sasquatch sent to me to share with all of you. Um, 
and this one is just real stories about different dogs that um, have been in Alaska, like little dog heroes, and there's everything from um, stories in here about bears guarding against wolves and bears, and all sorts of things, like this one is about Balto, and it's like each page is dedicated to a short story about each dog, and then there's an illustration. So, um, Nikolai loves this book, he loves dogs, so anytime he picks one out, he picks this. Here's one about a little dog named David, um, there's a dog in here named Buddy, Holly, Brown and Bruce, and they're just short little stories. So this is one again that the kids will ask to have, like, they'll ask me, like, can we read about Brown and Bruce again, or can we read about Balto, or can we read about one of the other dogs? So, and they just really, really like this one, and, um, it's, again, it's by Shelly Gill, and she's one of the, like, most admired children's book authors in Alaska. Any of Shelly Gill's books that you can find for your kids, I recommend. Um, same with any of these authors mentioned here. They're such wonderful children's books, but I know Shelly Gill has been very popular in Alaska for years and years and years, and we want to add to this collection for the kids. You know, in a perfect world, they'd have all of Shelly Gill's books, and they'd have every children's book ever <laughs> written by an Alaskan author or about Alaska because they really do love them and it's just fun for them to read a story or hear a story about a place that they're from and familiar with but it's kind of like in this fantasy children's book uh, perception I guess reality for them kind of reality but not really <laughs> um, but yeah so that was our Alaskan children's book collection I hope at least one of these books seems like something that you would love to enjoy with a child in your life and that I've kind of given you some ideas of books to read and enjoy uh, this summer with your own children or kids in your life. You know, if you're a nanny, an aunt, an uncle, a grandma, a grandpa, any of these books are great stories to sit down and read. They're all kind of the perfect length. They're not too long, they're not too short. They're great for before bedtime or before nap time, I think, because they kind of inspire the kids' imagination and kind of get them thinking. I know when we read one of these books before bed, the before bed, before bed, I can, you know, see the kids, they lay in bed quieter, and they kind of just, I'm guessing they're imagining and thinking themselves through the story. At least that's what I used to do, I was read to at their ages, I would like, relive the story over and over again in my head until I fell asleep, but that could just be me, so I don't know. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a great summer, and I will be back again soon with another video. Thanks for enjoying and taking this mommy moment with me today, and as always, lots of love from Alaska. From us, to you, from me, to you. Um, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.